hello 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 everyone welcome back to my channel my name is kendra and you are watching everything kendra and in today's video we are clearly doing an unboxing so i wonder if you guys can guess what's in this box can you tell by the shape can you tell by the videos that i do um let's see i'm just gonna go ahead and open this bad boy up because I'm excited to look at it. Let's put this candle back so we don't have any accidents. So. Okay, so I mean, open it up. It's not that cute, but <laughs> we'll move on. Alright, so I don't know what it is about Teller Budgets, but she's getting my coins. So I have this book of hers, and I'm pretty sure if you've seen my other videos, you've seen that I have the Teller Budgets, the Ultimate um, Savings Challenge book, which I'll continue, uh, um, will continue to do the Savings Challenges in 2022 right now. I am working on this one, so if you would like to see me in my journey to saving 4K, um, please subscribe to my channel, because um, I have stuffed, it's 54 envelopes, and I have stuffed 7 um, right now, so, but let's get into this book, I hope my lighting is okay, I'm still working on it, um, but yes, this is the Elevated Life Cole. So this is her and Brittany. Um, I haven't really... I've been watching Brittany's um, YouTube channel. But I, I didn't realize I wasn't subscribed to her. So I did go ahead and subscribe after I had already ordered the book actually. Because I was looking I was like, you know what? I just happened to go on their website out of the spirit of moment. And I seen that they had this release had released this book and it was for fifteen percent off. So I was like, you know what, let me just at first I was going back and forth, like, do I want to spend that much money on a budget book? But you know, I said bump it, let me go ahead and get it. Because I don't know why, I just had to. And it, I didn't see any advertisement or anything. I just went on the website and bam. It was here. So we want to take it out of the plastic. It's nice and thick. This book is thick. I forget how many pages it said it. It has like 200 and something I want to say. Go ahead and open this up. Stab again. does have you know some stuff that could have been cleaned off before it got here but I'm gonna act like it wasn't there so let me try to move y'all away from the camera cuz I mean away from the candle all right so we got elevate all throughout the page um you got the elevated life co logo my name is and I'm ready to elevate. Yes, I am 2023. We're going to elevate. I'm so excited. And then 2023, 2024, full calendars. Uh, nothing is impossible. The world itself says I'm possible. Nothing is impossible. I don't know if I read that wrong or not. I'm just, I'm excited. I just really want to get to 
flipping through these pages. Elevate your goals. Write your individual goals for the year. I definitely have some goals for 2023. Um, your annual bill tracker. Bill due date. And then... Um, you can check throughout the year that you paid them. Let's see. Let's see what this says. Whether your bills are on auto pay or paid manually, put a check to indicate paid and the amount of the bill in each box. Then calculate the total by adding up all the bills for the month. Okay, so this is probably like a, um, I don't know what you call that. Y access to determine the range and total amounts. For instance, your total bills tend to be between. Okay, that's cool. I'm gonna try to do that. I've never seen that done before, but yep, I would definitely try to do that. Um, let's see. Annual spending tracker, annual debt tracker, annual sinking funds and savings tracker, sinking funds and savings, plan of attack. Oh, this is plan of attack. Okay, so this is savings tracker, this is plan of attack. Okay. Do we have notes? So then we go into January. The challenge is not to be perfect, but to be whole. Okay, so you got your calendar. You can write out your days of the week, what um, days the calendar starts and all of that. Financial overview, financial goals, financial wins, appointments, events, birthday, holidays, improvements for next month, and your dump it section. So then you got your monthly budget, which, okay, I didn't know, I seen an overview of this book, somebody did it, but I didn't see that they had a monthly budget, which in my mind, I was like, dang, I wish they had a monthly budget, because I know it's like a paycheck to paycheck budget book, but this is cool. They got a monthly budget, they got four lines, which is perfect for me. This is, this is why I decided to get this book, because it's not for people who get paid bi-weekly or monthly I can use this too I get paid every week so there's a line for me where I can fit all my paychecks on there which is cool so I got my monthly budget which yeah I can write each week I get paid my budgeted amount my actual amount yep I like that um, my fixed expenses my variable expenses the plan, debt and savings. I'll definitely be having some debt because I'll be using my credit card. Um, paycheck budget. Yep, I've been doing this one a lot. Paycheck denominations. I don't really go to the bank because my um, checks do come out or my um, bills do come out um, automatically through my banking account. So let me see because I swear I'll be pronouncing it wrong. Whether your bills are on auto pay. So, okay. That's an easier way for me to say it. My bills are on auto pay, okay? So, most of my bills are on auto pay. So, I don't really go to the bank too much. But, I do want to try to start going and um, being a cash budgeter. Just to help me um, keep accountable what I'm spending. Keep track better. I believe there's five of these, which is cool. And then you have your expense trackers. Three, four, five, six. And then you have your notes. Then the same thing for February. You have your calendar. You have your financial overview. You have your monthly budget, which I love that they included the monthly budget along with 
your paycheck budget. I love that. I love it. I love it. I love it. So we got one. Let's count it. One, two, three, four. I can grab the page. Five. So we got five paycheck budget and paycheck denomination pages. You got your expense tracker, cause you know we all love to spend, so you know you need to have a lot of space to write down your expenses. And then your notes. And that is it for the whole month. So every month is the same. Then we head here to the back of the book. And this is December. December expense tracker, expense tracker, then you got notes, notes, and then you have your zero out challenge, which I didn't know this when I purchased the book that there was challenges in it. So let's see, running total, January week one, week two, week three, week four, week plus. So they, for the months that got the extra weeks, they included the week five, which I like that. Every week before your paycheck, check the amount you have left in the bank and save that amount that is left rounding to the nearest zero. Example A, you have $45.75 left in your bank account before your next paycheck. You can save $0.75 cents or you can save five seventy-five. dollars Example B, you have $287.34 left in your bank account before your next paycheck. You can save $0.34 cents or $7.34, which makes sense. Choose the option that works best for your own financial situation. I love that, which I will be doing. So, yes, we can do that. But what, what, what would I do with that money? I know what I'll do, so we're we just going to have to stay tuned for that one. Then you got the 100 envelope challenge. Each envelope is numbered 1 all the way to 100. Every week, pick two envelopes and save the dollar amount that was picked in a designated area or your numbered envelopes. Or your numbered envelopes from 1 to 100, then color the envelopes on this page to keep track of your progress. Hmm. I don't know. See, I don't want to do too many savings challenges. I hope this light isn't too crazy because I have a, a lamp right here and it's not really, I mean, it's doing a little something, but I gotta get some better lighting. Anyways, so I'm already doing the one challenge, the 4K challenge out of the book. I know this 100 envelope challenge, I mean, it doesn't seem that hard when I look at the numbers. Of course, once you get up to like 40 and higher, you know, you gotta save more, but I think I could do it. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, 4K is already a lot, so I don't know. We'll see. And then you have Elevate at the end and you have your back cover so that is it that is all this book is thick i'm hoping this keeps me on track with my budgeting because at first i was using well i am using this i started using this and i still need to fill out for this month so we want to do a budget at the end of this month to see um, if I was overspent or if I stayed on track, I know I did spend a lot of money this month, so we'll, we will see. So please subscribe if you want to see that, because let's see, my budget, so I did the monthly budget. I did the December budget, um, how much I was expected to get paid, and I definitely did get paid more than this, um, how much I was going to put towards groceries, food, and all that. And I did have a Capital One debt that um, was paid this month. Um, my daughter was supposed to get $150. I'm still trying to figure out 
what I'm gonna do with that because I'm supposed to cash app it to her, but she doesn't have cash app right now, so I don't know. We'll see. And I didn't I didn't put an extra two hundred towards the mortgage only because it is Christmas and I am spending a whole lot more within the month of November and December. So I didn't do the extra mortgage payment. Um, so yeah, we definitely got a lot to look over at the end of the month once I get my last paycheck and see um, if I can put some money towards my savings challenge, which I cannot wait to see if I have extra money to put towards my savings challenge. And that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and please consider subscribing. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.